Welcome to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. Hi, this is Sayozd IT Specialist and member at Web Development. I did a demo on how quick and easy it is to create a phishing website to steal Microsoft credentials. This week I had a speaking session on the dark stage at JISEC Cybersecurity Conference in Dubai. I presented one of our threat intelligence team's latest discoveries, Crypto Chameleon a phishing kit that targets businesses and consumers after a fairly well-crafted social engineering campaign. I used a toolkit called ZFisher to create the phishing website. The beauty of ZFisher is that it has no special requirements and runs out of the box in just one click in a Google Cloud Shell. Then your Google Cloud Shell instance will be provisioned, and this might be the longest part of the demo, and you'll be able to launch the ZFisher tool Select your target, a Mo in the 30 plus available, and launch your phishing site using the embedded Cloudflare provisioning. A few seconds later, your phishing site is live and you're ready to harvest credentials. Now all you need to do is make the URL mobile friendly using a URL shortening service and or QR code generator and you're ready to scam people on their mobile device. Creating a phishing site often begins with acquiring a domain name. Think of a domain name as an address for a website. Hackers often register domain names that closely resemble legitimate ones, using subtle misspellings or different domain extensions to deceive unsuspecting users. Once they have a domain name, hackers need a place to store the files that make up their fake website. This is where web hosting comes in. There are numerous web hosting providers available and hackers can easily purchase hosting space using stolen credit cards or anonymous payment methods. With a domain name registered and hosting space secured, hackers have the basic infrastructure in place to start building their phishing site. This process surprisingly can be alarmingly quick and easy. Hackers have a range of tools and techniques at their disposal to create convincing phishing pages. An example of a leading AI-based detection tool is IronScale's Advanced Phishing Protection Platform, which utilizes machine learning algorithms to detect and mitigate threats efficiently. They often use readily available phishing kits, pre-packaged bundles of code and templates that simplify the process of setting up a fake website. These kits can be found on hacking forums and marketplaces on the dark web, often for a small fee or even for free. Another common technique is HTML cloning, where hackers copy the source code of a legitimate website and use it as the foundation for their fake version. In addition to phishing kits and HTML cloning, hackers may employ social engineering tactics to make their emails and websites seem more believable. They might spoof email addresses, use official logos and branding, and even personalize messages to target specific individuals. Building a phishing page is like constructing a movie set. It's all about creating a convincing illusion. Hackers will often start by obtaining the HTML source code of a legitimate website, which they can easily do using a web browser. This code provides the framework for their fake page. They then modify this code, inserting forms and scripts designed to capture the user's information. These forms might ask for login credentials, credit card details, or other sensitive data. To complete the illusion, hackers will often include images, logos, and even entire sections of text copied from the original website. The goal is to make the phishing page indistinguishable from the real one. Section 5. Spreading the net. Distributing the phishing lure. With the phishing site ready, the next step is to lure victims into the trap. Hackers use various methods to distribute their phishing links, often through mass email campaigns. These emails are designed to look like legitimate communications from banks, online retailers, social media platforms, or other trusted organizations. The emails usually contain urgent or alarming messages, urging the recipient to click on the provided link to resolve an issue, update their account, or claim a prize. Beyond email, phishing links can also be spread through social media posts, instant messages, SMS messages, and even malicious advertisements on legitimate websites. Hackers are constantly innovating, finding new and creative ways to deliver their phishing attacks to potential victims. Section 6. 
spotting the fish telltale signs of a fake website. While phishing attacks can be incredibly sophisticated, there are often telltale signs that can help you spot a fake website. One of the first things to check is the website address. Look closely for misspellings, unusual characters, or the use of a different domain extension than what you would expect. For example, a phishing site might use .net instead of .com, or it might replace a letter with a similar looking number. Another red flag is the presence of security certificates. Legitimate websites use security certificates to encrypt the communication between your browser and their server, ensuring that your information is protected. You can usually tell if a website has a valid security certificate by looking for a padlock icon in the address bar of your browser. Clicking on this icon will display information about the certificate, including who issued it and when it expires. If a website doesn't have a valid security certificate or if the certificate information looks suspicious, it's best to err on the side of caution and avoid entering any personal information. Section 7. The Human Factor Exploiting Trust and Urgency Phishing attacks are often successful because they exploit human psychology, particularly our innate trust in authority and our tendency to react quickly in situations that evoke fear, urgency or excitement. Hackers understand these vulnerabilities and craft their attacks accordingly. They use logos, branding and language that mimics legitimate organizations to gain your trust. They create a sense of urgency by claiming that your account has been compromised, that you need to act quickly to avoid a penalty, or that you've won a prize. This sense of urgency can cloud your judgment, making you more likely to click on a malicious link or provide sensitive information without thinking twice. Section 8. Case Study Anatomy of a Real-World Phishing Attack In 2017, a massive phishing campaign targeted Google Docs users tricking them into granting access to their Google accounts. The attack began with phishing emails that appeared to be from someone the recipient knew, inviting them to collaborate on a Google Doc. Clicking on the link in the email took victims to a fake Google login page designed to steal their credentials. This attack was particularly effective because it exploited the trust that people have in their contacts and Google's own services. The phishing page was also very convincing, closely mimicking the real Google login page. As a result, millions of users were tricked into giving away their Google account credentials, giving the attackers access to their emails, contacts, documents, and other sensitive information. Section 9. The High Cost of Phishing from Data Breaches to Financial Ruin The consequences of falling victim to a phishing attack can be severe. For individuals, it can lead to identity theft, financial loss, and significant emotional distress. If hackers gain access to your online banking credentials, they can drain your accounts, make unauthorized purchases, or even open new credit cards in your name. They can use your stolen identity to commit other crimes, leaving you to deal with the fallout. For businesses, phishing attacks can result in data breaches, financial losses, reputational damage, and legal liabilities. If hackers gain access to a company's network through a phishing attack, they can steal sensitive customer data, financial records, intellectual property, and other valuable information. Such breaches can cripple a business, leading to regulatory fines, lawsuits, and a loss of customer trust. Section 10. Staying safe in a sea of phishing, practical tips for online security. Protecting yourself from phishing attacks requires vigilance and awareness. Here are some practical tips to stay safe. Be wary of unsolicited emails and messages. Don't click on links or open attachments from unknown senders. Verify the sender's identity through other means. Hover over links before clicking. Check the actual URL for misspellings or unusual characters. Enable two-factor authentication for extra security. Keep your software updated. Regularly update your software to get the latest security patches. Educate yourself and others. Share your knowledge with family, friends and colleagues. Section 11. Vigilance as the first line of defense. In the ever-evolving landscape of cyber threats, phishing remains a persistent and pervasive danger. As hackers continue to refine their techniques, becoming more sophisticated in their methods of deception, it is our responsibility to remain vigilant and informed. 
By understanding the mechanics of phishing attacks, recognizing the telltale signs of a fake website, and adopting safe browsing habits, we can significantly reduce the risk of falling victim to these digital traps. Remember, vigilance is the first and most crucial line of defense in the fight against phishing. By staying informed, being cautious, and following best practices for online security, we can navigate the digital world with greater confidence and protect ourselves from the costly and damaging consequences of phishing attacks.